Welcome back. I apologize for talking over this cutscene. You'll understand why shortly. Control. Report. So, I have the trial, and I jumped in the game, and I mentioned on Twitter how the facial expressions, the animations are off. So are their movement animations. You can see in this cutscene that the graphics have been improved uh, since the previous Mass Effect games. But the animations themselves are not what I would consider a reasonable expectation from a AAA game in 2017. It is, in my opinion, a reasonable expectation to think that there would be an improvement from the past Mass Effect games considering the fact that they are using an improved game engine. But this feels like a step backwards from Mass Effect 3 to me. If the character is mad, afraid, sad, happy, etc., their facial expression is the same. The look in their eyes is the same. The game does not have body sliders, but their butts are, oh my god, look how nice their butts are. The female character has a much more improved body form, in my opinion, than Shepard had. And as per usual, the older female character, like the Doctor in the previous series and Cora in this one, has a banging body. I love that. It's inspirational to me. Liam, unfortunately, has a changing body form. Sometimes he's slim, sometimes he's thick, sometimes he looks like he has a gut, then he goes back to looking slim. The aliens, on the other hand, have really good facial features and movements from what I've seen. Now, I'm not very far in the game, but um, I'm beginning to wonder about the balance spent in time on the different animation. I don't know. But let's be clear about something. The game has not been released yet. I'm playing a trial, and others are playing a press copy. The game isn't fully released until the 21st. They said last month there would be a day one patch. On Twitter, I mentioned how I was concerned about there being a day one patch and that they were still working on it because it meant that the game was currently buggy. That meant that what was going to be in the trial and what reviewers would be using would be buggy. So it could be day one some of these things are fixed. But I try to have a realistic and fair view on things. Bioware isn't the best at facial expressions and animations. They are known for their stories, so I'm not expecting Horizon Zero Dawn animations. Unfortunately, it is bad for Bioware that Andromeda is coming out so close after Horizon. Streamers can help game companies sell their game and they can also be the kiss of death to a game. In this case, there are streamers still playing Horizon and working Andromeda into their schedule, so viewers are seeing both games in the same day. Not a good look, so you can imagine what's happening. Thinking about the goals on my channel, my goal is not to be the first to upload something. My goal is to show a great story, fun gameplay with commentary that leaves the viewer with an enjoyable viewing experience. Therefore, I'm going to wait until the patch is out before I upload the game. If the patch fixes or improves some of these issues, this means a win-win situation for everyone. I'm going to play through the trial since I paid for it, but I will not use that footage unless something notable. Now, regarding the story, again, I'm not far into the game, but my big question that I hope is answered later on, what makes my character so special on being Pathfinder? I'm placed in the role over Korra with no experience because my father passed it to me. It's clear my character has no idea what she's doing, so technically, 
anyone could do it, right? I hope that answer is revealed later on. It is common for RPGs to have a slow start then ramp up later. So again, I'm reserving judgment until I have facts to back up that judgment. Other than that, I'm enjoying the game and I look forward to exploring and discovering what's in store. I'm Again, I'm not far into it, but I like the idea of building a new world. I love that there's an achievement for not one, not two, but three romances. <laughs> I am going to step out my boundaries in this game, baby. Oh, that brings up another point. Like I previously said, my goal is to have a good viewing experience. It's not about having a good ending or a bad ending. So with that goal in mind, and I think I said this before, for all games, I'm going to play them based on the personality of the character. And the ending is what it is. So if people die, they die. Oh, well. <laughs> While I respect people who want a specific ending, like the good ending, the bad ending, if only to show it, that type of gameplay isn't fulfilling to me. It doesn't make me happy. So, okay, I have videos to edit, so uh, that's it for this one. Uh, the previous Mass Effect is going up. I was waiting until I got into the trial because I was a little... I was wondering if I would be hurting the previous series by showing the new series, if it made it look old or dated, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not concerned about that. So that'll be going up, and I apologize. Um, yeah. But I am curious, though. If you're playing the trial, what do you think of it? Um, if you're not, are you excited for the game? Are you worried? Are you going to skip it and not play it at all? Let me know. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.